Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Jobs. Yes, that's right, it's me. Chief Executive of Apple Inc., One Infinite Loop, Cupertino, California, 95014. I know the address. That's how you know it's me, Steve Jobs. Well, I've got some big news this year, and I want the whole world to hear it. I quit. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm resigning effective immediately. And what's more, I'm shutting down all of Apple. Now, I know this comes as a surprise to some of you, but if you think about it, you'll see I really didn't have a choice. I mean, Vista's been performing so well. Uh, you know, they've sold tens of dozens of copies. It was still clear to me that Leopard was just going to get lost in all of that wow. And then I got my iPod killer. The Zoon. Look at this baby, huh? Brown. Now, I'm sure you'd agree that it's time for Apple to wave the white flag and concede defeat to the boys up in Redmond, Washington. Now, don't shed tears over the iPhone and all that other junk we talked about. Just carry those big brains of yours up out of the Mascarpone Center and go on home. You're no longer needed. PC? But, but, hey, oh, hi, Mac. What's, what's, what's going on? How are you? Again? Really? Why, I thought we talked about this last year. You, you think these people are really going to believe that you're Steve Jobs? Mm. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Hello, I'm Phil Schiller. Thanks for coming. We got some great stuff to show you today. So welcome to WWDC 07. Uh, I'm really pleased to report that we have over 5,000 attendees today. Uh, this is the biggest WWDC ever in the history of Apple. And another really cool thing is that we have over 950,000 Apple Developer Connection members. That's up 200,000 from just a year ago. So our developer community is very healthy, growing uh, very rapidly. So we couldn't be happier. Now, this week, we got some great stuff for you. We've got 159 sessions. Uh, we've got 94 hands-on labs. And we've got 1,200 Apple engineers on site uh, that's one Apple engineer for every four attendees. So you ought to be able to grab an Apple engineer and get your questions answered during the week. And I would encourage you to do so. So WWDC 07. Before we get into stuff today, I just want to go back a year. What were we talking about a year ago? Well, we were talking about Intel. Because we were very far along in a very ambitious project to transition all of our computers over to Intel processors. And we did it successfully. This was one of the most challenging, ambitious transitions ever in our industry. And everybody did an awesome job. Our teams inside Apple did an incredible job engineering the new Intel hardware and creating uh, Mac OS X Tiger for Intel. You guys did an incredible job uh, making universal versions of your apps, well, most of you anyway. And, uh, uh, and that was terrific. And there's now uh, zillions of universal apps out there. Uh, but there's one group that I think uh, worked extremely hard that I would like to recognize today. Uh, and that is Intel themselves. From the very day that we signed up to put Intel processors in Macs, these guys have done extraordinary work with us. This, we started it off by Intel CEO Paul Adelini handing me our first wafer full of Intel processors. We have worked so hard with them to do, to do special things, to do things that are a little outside the norm so we could make the best Macs ever using Intel processors. And they have come through every single time for us. And so I wanted to kick off today, now that our transition's behind us, uh, by inviting Intel CEO Paul Ottolini up here, if I could. Hi, Paul. 
Thanks. Thank Paul, uh, I've got something for you. We, we're not big on awards at Apple, uh -huh. and so we don't have anything real standard, and so I asked Johnny Ive if the design team would make something. And uh, they made this, this really nice award oh, for wow. you guys. And it says, uh, our sincere thanks for your extraordinary partnership in our transition to Intel processors. I don't know if you can get a shot of this, but it's made out of polished stainless steel, and it's really beautiful. And I would like to, uh, to give this to you and the Intel team. Well, thank you so much, Steve. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. You know, uh, I didn't know what you were doing. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks to you and your team. Um, working with Apple has been one of the best things that's ever happened in my career, one of the best things that's ever happened for Intel. And we couldn't be more pleased. And you know what? I think we're not done. I think we have the best still to come. Yeah. We're working on some great stuff for some future products, so can't wait. Got it. Thanks, Thanks Paul. Thanks very much. So thank you to everybody at Intel for making this transition possible. It's been, it's been really great. We're very proud of the machines we're delivering these days. Next up, got some great news about games. First, Electronic Arts, the number one publisher of games in the world, is coming back to the Mac in a really big way. And it's my pleasure to invite up Bing Gordon, one of the co-founders and the chief creative officer of Electronic Arts. Hey, Bing. How you doing? Nice to be here. All nice yours. Fun. Thank you, Steve. I have two teenage daughters. They live on MacBook. I have friends in the music business, in the movie business, in the photography business, in the graphic design business. They live on OS X. Our CTO at Electronic Arts lives on Mac, and we're seeing um, EA technologists move to Mac in droves. And what do they all want? What do they keep asking for in addition to a cinema display? <laughs> they want to go into an Apple store and they want to see all the latest EA games uh, simultaneous released with all the other platforms. And so I'm here today to announce we are going to rectify the situation. Starting in July, we're going to bring four of our biggest titles um, to run under OS X. And they are Command and Conquer 3, the continuation of the 15-year battle against Nod and Kane, Battlefield 2142, the, uh, the, the game of the year goes into a science fiction future where you can play against your friends and meet new people, Need for Speed Carbon, this is, a, this is a car game with um, a mountain and valley racing with uh, carbon bodies that uh, don't handle damage very well. That's a hint. And uh, finally in July, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. <laughs> Harry Potter is Electronic Arts' best wizard, and as you know, he needs a wand, unlike Steve Jobs, who just uses his imagination. So now we're going to, uh, Dave McComb, who is one of EA's leading Mac aficionados, is going to show us just a snippet of Harry and Hogwarts. This year, one of the features is a living Hogwarts, where you see the, uh, the high-res art, the stairs move like in Hogwarts. You can explore and uh, meet Harry's friends. In addition, so the room you're all in, compared to the room that the other people didn't make it into, this is a good hall. Harry's got a great hall. Snakes. The only thing better than living on a Mac is living in Hogwarts. Deposo! 